cover artist. So I was kind of into K-pop from like a young age. I'm Korean, so it was kind of natural for me. But at first I was really bad. Um, I just kind of started watching, I watched a lot of YouTube. And I always came up with the dances. So I always was like, how cool would it be to learn that? So uh, I actually had a couple friends who wanted to start a group and they taught me a lot. They're much better dancers than I am. Um, at current, I would probably say my favorite K-pop group is Stray Kids. I just really like their sound, but I listen to a lot of older stuff, like mainly second, third gen type thing. Um, when practicing, uh, I think my number one advice would probably be to record yourself so that you can see how you're doing and then you can compare that to other videos. And there's lots of tutorials online and you can have those mirrored as well um, but yeah i think that's kind of how i got into it it was just a bit natural for me but i really enjoy it i continue to enjoy it i think it's really cool to see k-pop leading into other things like main dancing like a street woman fighter there's a lot of k-pop choreographers from there now so i think that's really cool k-pop meaning to me when i first moved to we first moved to the United States, I didn't have a lot of connection to Korea. So I guess it's my way of feeling at home, even when I'm not there. So I think it's important to me to connect with my culture and doing something that I love, which is music. So I think it's my connection to home. Thank you so much for all your support. Uh, I always appreciate the love and just the encouragement that I get from everyone who has helped me along.